Juicy salad. Yeah, that's what the box says. Juicy salad. I don't know about you, I don't do salads. I don't like salads. I want my vegetables cooked. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. But what's inside this box is what's really important for this episode. And I do want to say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you learned something from here. So behind me, I actually have my Super Famicom Junior playing, and I love this system. I love playing import games. And for a while in 2020, I actually subscribed to two different like blind grab bag video game delivery services. I tried Retro Game Treasures, and I tried Video Games Monthly. And one of the things off of both services is they promised to offer you know, import games for the Famicom, Super Famicom, N64, and I did get those but they weren't exactly the type of titles I would play. Far too many JRPGs, far too many games that had uh, Japanese that I can't read that would have affected the gameplay. Overall, not something I really liked. Now this box here comes from the folks at Japan Retro Direct, and while that name may not mean much to you at this point in time, it will after this video. Perhaps the name Famicom Dojo means something to you. Japan Retro Direct is actually run by Vink, from Famicom Dojo. And if you haven't checked their channel out, I will have them linked right up there. If you're looking for great information on the Famicom, the Famicom Disk System, the Sharp Famicom Twins, anything basically dealing with the Famicom line of systems, they have got great information. Between John Riggs and Famicom Dojo, that's where I found my passion for collecting Famicom games and systems. That's why I've got my Sharp Famicom Twin down below. But I recently placed an order with Kevin, aka Vink, from Japan Retro Direct, and that's what we have in this box here today, which we're going to throw on the bench and open up. Now, the beautiful thing about this is I placed the order. He's in Japan, and I selected, I think it was airmail for everything. Cost me about four or five more dollars than normal shipping, which would have taken several months. I got my box here in eight days. Thank you guys for having awesome service, awesome selections, and great games. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna throw this on the bench, check out what we got. All right, so I think I ordered four total games from Vink on here. We're gonna open it up and see what we have. Very good packaging job on here. I always appreciate you know stuff that's been wrapped and taken care of well. And I think this is only my second or third order from him, but everything I've gotten has been top, top notch. And I love the fact, too, that um, he cleans everything before he sends it out. And especially with one of the items here, he verifies that it works. So uh, let's take a look. Oh, we got a big hitter right out of the box. And we're going to close that here. This is something that uh, I had actually, I'm going to set the box aside. When I was working on the review of the RetroTank 5X and did the unboxing and whatnot, I had a couple people ask me, hey, make sure when you're testing out the N64, you test this game. And I didn't have it. Well, I now have the Japanese version, and look at that. It is the, uh, the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and... Uh, yeah, that is in beautiful, beautiful shape. Now, one thing, and I did ask because depending on the game, some Japanese games actually you can play in perfect English. Like uh, Super Metroid is a perfect example for the Super Famicom. Uh, it plays in English perfectly. He did verify to me that this is actually a, um, it, it is in Japanese. Um, interesting. No resale. See that right there? Huh. So we shall see. Now I can play this on my N64 because I, I have actually installed a region mod kit. Look at that box, that box is beautiful and it's huge too. It's a lot bigger than a traditional Nintendo 64 box. I'm gonna be very careful opening this because it is in such terrific shape. But look at the condition of that cartridge. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. There's no, no yellowing, no fading, anything. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the game itself. This will likely mostly be a display piece for me, uh, but what a beautiful display. And for those who are unaware, the difference essentially between the Japanese and the US N64 cartridges is the location of these two slots. They're here, obviously, for the Japanese ones. For the US ones, I think they're out on the edge. So that's basically how they did physical region locking. I don't know if you can see it here, probably doesn't pop on the camera, but says Nintendo 64 molded right into the cartridge tray. There you can kind of see it. 
shining in the light. I miss manuals. I, I just do. And this is an absolute piece of art. Oh, look at that. That's so cool looking. Like I mentioned, the entire game is in Japanese, so I will have issues with that because I, holy cow, there's a lot of other stuff in here I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, here's what the controller does. Oh, that's so cool. It's got someone I already went through. Now that makes sense. I'm gonna show you this here in a second, but it shows you all the different uh, melodies for the ocarina. Ocarina? So this is one of the items that popped out. It basically had the different arrows in different directions. So you could actually make that as a cheat sheet. Link's Awakening DX uh, for the Game Boy Color promo uh, sheet. That's, this is very cool. We got shortchanged here in the US. Registration card. Oh, that's awesome looking. 1998 uh, trademark on here. Just so cool. Kind of walk you through everything with connecting the system, which I think is interesting that they walk you through that. And I have no idea what this is. I'll have to translate that. Uh, but very cool, right out of the gate with an amazing title in great shape. Uh, again, this will be more of a display piece for me with the box and whatnot after we do the, the test. That Whoever did this, thank you, because I was never a big fan of this and I have no idea what you needed to play. Again, just beautiful, beautiful condition here. Thank you so much. And not too expensive either. I wanna say it was under $40 for this. All right, so there's number one. So number two is one I have in my collection somewhere. I will be damned if I can find it. Metroid for the Famicom disc system. I've shown footage of it. Now, what I love about this, first of all, if you look at the condition of the case and everything, no cracks, no scratches, anything along those lines. It's in beautiful shape. Um, but Vink also goes through and verifies what's on here is what's in here. So that was an issue with the Famicom disc system is there were kiosks all around Japan where you could take discs and rewrite what was on there. So while it may say uh, Metroid on the cover itself, you may not indeed have actually gotten Metroid. Let's take a look at the condition of this. Oh, that's in beautiful shape. That's wonderful. I have a copy here in this room somewhere. I'll be damned if I can find it. While I was in the Famicom disc system mood, Vink proved that he is an evil, evil, evil man because he sent me a picture and asked me, do you need? And I'm like, son of a gun, I need. Because I have, I actually have Zelda 2 for the Famicom Disk System, but I did not have the original. Um, and again, the case and everything looks like it's in magnificent, 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 wow. That was hard for me to say, magnificent shape. Uh, look again, the quality on the, on the label and everything here too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and again, the reason why, I, I have this for the NES. The reason why I wanted it is for the enhanced audio and just the extra features that the Famicom Disk System offers over the original cartridge. So, uh, two amazing titles. I absolutely love the Famicom Disk System and now that I have a standalone unit that I can use with my uh, HDMI modded NES. Uh, these are going to look terrific as you've seen from the test footage. Now, Vink always, before we get to our last cartridge here, he always throws in some extra stuff here, some Pokemon cards that are in here. Um, I'm not a Pokemon collector, so this, if you see me at a convention or something, I may have these with me. Ask me, I may have some freebies for you. But the last one up, when he added this to the site, I'm like, I knew I had to have it. I knew I had to have it. This is one of my favorite games for the TurboGrafx-16. And actually, the version I have is for the PC Engine. So funny that I do not have a US version for any system of Pac-Land. But here we have one for the Famicom. And again, I love the, the amazing artwork and everything that the Famicom cartridges had. Plus, if you even just look at the top here, you have the Namco, or Namcot, as they had in Japan, the, the company name right in the cartridge itself. Um, just a great, great game. Uh, so amazing, so much fun. It's, it's Pac-Land. What is there not to love about this? 
So there you have it, four excellent, excellent import games available from Japan Retro Direct for our Nintendo systems that we have for the N64 Ocarina of Time. Now some of you may be wondering, how did I manage to play Ocarina of Time here in my home? Do I have a Japanese N64? I don't, but I have modded my system where you can play basically region-free either US or Japan games through an NTSC N64. I'll have that video link for you right up there. It's super, super easy. Trust me, anyone can do it. All you need is a Phillips blade screwdriver and some of the uh, security bits that Nintendo has to get inside the system. Super easy. Plus now I do have a copy of The Legend of Zelda for the Famicom Disk System. Sounds amazing! And a replacement for my copy of Metroid that I swear my other disc is in here somewhere. It's in here, but here now I have one that works and I can play and I can enjoy. And then finally Pac-Land, while not as good as the one for the TurboGrafx-16, it's still an awesome game. I still love the fact that I have this in my collection. Now, I will have a link down below if you want to go ahead and pick up any games. If you want to check out what Japan Retro Direct offers, definitely highly recommend checking them out. Also, go ahead and check out the boys over at Famicom Dojo. Sean and Vink, they provide some great information. Well, Vink does. Sean, Sean provides information. And we'll leave it at that. Um, and you'll also learn that the NES and the Famicom and the Sharp Famicom Twin, they can talk and sound about as intelligent as Sean does most days. Famicom to Man, I still have no idea what you're saying. Hmm. Seriously though, check them out. Good, good couple of guys. Great information over there. Like I mentioned early on, they are two of the reasons, them and John Riggs, why I fell in love with collecting import games. Now, if you do have any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to leave them down below. You can also go ahead and email me at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. Send me a message on Twitter at Studios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductions. GK. Now, if you are looking for any other accessories for modern or retro game systems, games themselves, one-up cleaning cards, HD retrovision, uh, component video cables, and Insurrection Industries SCART cables, easy for me to say both of those, do me a favor, check out CastlemaniaGames.com. The cool thing, he's uh, added a new program to the website where you can make payments for items of $49.99 and up. Uh, or it might just be a hard $50 and up. Not sure. Double check the website. He's got all that information there. Plus, as always, you can use promo code ROCKSOLID10 to save 10% off of most items on the website. And you earn Castle Cash, his reward program with every purchase that you make, where you basically get rewarded for buying cool modern and retro gaming accessories and parts. Now, if you are looking for any other tips and tricks, any other you know, like ways that we went ahead and have our uh, Famicom disk system hooked up to a top loader NES, how we HDMI modded our top loader NES, how we RGB modded our N64. Those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.